So the plan I have for her is to start to trip the base of this wrinkle and then to do a more aggressive treatment just around here and there and the more superficial treatments uh, on the um, on, on the forehead. So to start to treat uh, the wrinkles, that's fine, thank you. I put the device on the deep mode. In the deep mode I can now deliver a shot of 0.12 millimeter in diameter, so means 120 microns, and I will use an aggressive settings means 20 millijoule for each of them, the line shape and 5% density. I realize where the wrinkle is and then I do the first shot. The second I'm following the base of each wrinkle. Here it's absolutely clear that we have very small ablation. The idea of this first step of the treatment is to have a great collagen production exactly where we need. I'm using 20 millijoules for each microshot and the density of 5%, I do not need to ablate skin. The idea of this first part is to stimulate new collagen production exactly where we need. We concluded this part, and then I want to do an aggressive treatment, so I move to a combo mode. Combo mode means that we have one after the other deep treatments and immediately after we will have the superficial treatment. Now in this area, these are around the mouth, upper, uh, lower and upper lip and on the other side I will use the combo mode, I will use 12.5 millijoule and 5% coverage for the deep so, and I will use 80 millijoule for the superficial. Okay, I, I'm ready. Let's go. We applied the anesthetic cream one hour before the treatment and the patient started to take antiviral drugs yesterday. You can uh, apply the tongue depressor exactly and the, uh, where there is the line between the uh, mucosa and the skin and so when you do the treatments, there's no risk for the mucosa. Now it's easier to do the chin. The delay time between one shot and the other is 0 0.5 seconds. Uh, So look, uh, I go just a little slower, deep, superficial, deep and superficial. Look, probably here is clear, I do not know with the camera, we have a pinpoint bleeding there and this is a very important hand point to understand if you are doing a good job or not because uh, this is a clear sign of where you are working. The other sides of the face uh, don't need uh, to do the combo mode, so I will choose the superficial only because I want to do a superficial treatment. I will use the uh, square shape with a coverage of 40% and the energy of 70 and the time off as quick as possible. Okay, it's 0 0.3 seconds between one shot and the other. Another tip here is to stretch the skin. I will use a gauze because uh, to avoid any problems. Look, or in this way, or in this way. I prefer this one, but it's easier here to do that. And so you can follow the jaw line. You can appreciate the jaw line, and we can go very fast.
the tip of my finger are exactly on the uh, orbital bone so I know that here there's the orbital bone I have not to, to pass over for acne scars I have a different technique I try to hit the base of each scar with the teeth again as, as uh, I show you at the beginning to treat the deep wrinkles uh, because I want new collagen production exactly at the base of the scar and then I pass with the combo to try to shrink the scar and to have a better uh, appearance of the skin. Okay. I have to go to treat now the crow's feet area, this area here and this area there and so I don't want to have my goggles and I asked someone here to help me to cover so okay the tip of the tongue depressor exactly on the bone okay so I know where I can go where I cannot okay and now your nurse has to do that and, and then you have to stretch and pull towards the, the skin doing this you make the skin thinner and having the skin thinner not modifying the settings you can go deeper and you can uh, obtain a better result and the same things can be done on the other side so putting the tip of the tongue depressor exactly where there's a bone I clean the skin I enlarge the skin look my finger I enlarge the skin okay yes you can appreciate better so look the wrinkles okay enlarge the skin and stretch the skin backward. This is a practical, easy tips to apply to have better results over there. So I concluded this area. Yes, please help me about that. Okay. That's fine. And then I can conclude. I'll take this over the eyes on one side and on the other side. I reduce the dimension. Okay, one side give me the other against the bone against the bone like me and so I can cover the nasal dorsum and so I can run I can enlarge again only to be only to do a faster treatment okay so covering the eye I love, I really love wood tongue depressor. Wood is a living material, it's not plastic, so it eventually can absorb the rays of the, of the laser. So this is for the safety profile of the treatment. I started years ago to apply Vaseline, but Vaseline is a very heavy medication, so I, I moved to, uh, to, the, to a brand cream from Eucherin called Aquaphor, but recently a lot of products were produced to the post laser, and I will show later when I concluded my treatments, okay, what I will apply on. The idea is not having a dry medication. Uh, I don't like to conclude in this way the treatments otherwise you can appreciate a line between the treated and the non-treated areas so I reduce the energy okay and I stretching the skin I will go to treat the first few millimeters of the neck to avoid to have a line there so no, it's not good. follow the line That's it. We concluded the treatments. Maybe that's fine. Orbital bone there, okay. Round nose, chin, upper and lower lip. Treating the deep wrinkles there. Combo mode around the mouth here where there were deep wrinkles. Combo mode also on the other side where there were a lot of deep wrinkles. She presented only some displacementation, some superficial signs of photo aging so I decided to do only a superficial fraction of treatments over there on the nose and on the forehead.